a two news exclusive. This fall, a young Utah woman set off for her freshman college adventure in California. Just weeks later, she's back home fighting a deadly disease. There is a potential cure, but finding it is like finding a needle in a haystack. Just weeks into Kaya Endo's freshman year at Cal Poly, she came down with something. It's like the freshman flu, so everyone was sick. Everyone in my classes were sick. Everyone in my dorm was sick, so I didn't think much of it. But within days, it consumed her. Unexplained bruising, uncontrollable nosebleeds, fatigue. A week after she ended up in the ER, she had an answer. Um, I was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia. A rare blood condition where your immune system attacks and destroys your bone marrow. There aren't many treatment options, but one is the most promising. I need a bone marrow transplant. Her condition has left her nearly homebound. She's severely immunocompromised, and neither she nor her family wants to risk her getting sick. But she faces a big hurdle in finding a donor. Be the Match Utah coordinator Cindy Fippen explains it. Because matching is done genetically, the more unique your genetic makeup, there are just fewer people with that same genetic makeup. A lot of it is just a, a numbers game. Kaya is half Japanese and half white, which severely limits her matching possibilities, a reality that's hard for her mom, Allison. So if you or I need a bone marrow transplant, white, northern European descent, no problem. It's there for us. Many choices. But for minorities or people of mixed ethnicity, it's another story. Now it's a waiting game. Her mom is pleading for more people to potentially help. And we'll be frank, we're looking for more 18 to 40 old people of mixed Asian Caucasian descent to sign up through Be The Match for this worldwide registry. In the meantime, Kaya is soldiering on. She misses college. She misses all the activity she loves. She has twice weekly blood transfusions to help her condition, but those are only effective for so long. She's frustrated, but also tries to keep a positive attitude. So it's like completely changed my life. Kaya, are you scared? Um, a little bit, but not really, because this condition, if treated, isn't fatal. So it's like, I know I'll get through it. It just kind of sucks, and I just have to wait. As you heard, Kaya and her family are asking for people to become bone marrow donors and join the Be The Match registry. They are looking for those of mixed Asian and Caucasian descent, but they're also encouraging everyone, no matter their background, to join just in case they could help another person out there. You can find out how to help in this story at KUTV.com.